Welcome to Chef Joni's Kitchen again. Today I want to make garlic uh, herbal uh, buns. Okay, uh, with cheese topping. So here are the things that I'm going to make for the dough. Uh, I have the flour with the, uh, a bit of sugar to sweeten it and also um, salt, a pinch of salt and um, yeah and that's it. So I mix it together. There's a bread flour and then one egg beaten and then uh, one and a half teaspoon of uh, yeast. One teaspoon of one tablespoon of uh, sugar, caster sugar. I have one tablespoon here and one tablespoon there, and uh, milk, about half a cup. I have uh, a little bit more in case the flour is a bit dry. I've been keeping it in the fridge, and then uh, forty-two a gram of butter. Okay, so I'm going to start off uh, by mixing the thing liquid into the dry ingredients. I don't pour all my milk in. That's why I put it separate a little. So this one will all go in. And uh, just gently put them together. Get as much as the I can of the yeast out from the cup. And then um, just gently mix to combine and all the eggs in. Okay, when they come together, I put my hand in. Uh, to mix. My hand got ink. Okay, so now I'm going to knead a little before I mix in the butter. Okay. Okay, there are, the liquid is enough. So don't need to add in. If uh, it is not enough, then I only uh, put in the extra milk. Take this out and put my kneading board on. Putting a cloth there so that it won't um, run away, the board won't move. flour here stand by for me to uh, to prevent the, the dough from sticking just a little bit at a time not too much so that the dough won't get too hard
I have learned from trial and error and also from others that um, you mix the butter in or if it is uh, oil, you mix it after the dough is formed. Somehow the bread will turn out softer. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. After this has formed a dough, then only I will mix in my butter. Okay. If you have the kitchen aid, you can use the dough beater to do this process, the whole of the this process from beginning to here. Okay, so I'm going to use hand since I don't have a powerful mixing machine. The result will be the same. The milk is a uh, room temperature. Uh, the sorry, the room uh, the milk is uh, warm, warm milk, and uh, it's about hundred to hundred and ten degree Fahrenheit to make the yeast uh, grow, and uh, the egg and the butter is room temperature. Uh, as you can see, it is coming together and uh, it's not sticking. Easier to work on a flat surface rather than with the edge of the thing. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, becoming more bouncy, and not sticking.
bit sticky now so I'm going to put a bit of flour can see that it is stretching the surface is uh, smooth okay and uh, if you can stretch it without tearing and uh, it's a bit transparent then uh, it is good okay so and the other test is you can press and it bounce back okay now it's ready for proving I'm going to oil it and then uh, cover it and put it in a warm place to rise and also my dough okay uh, using the make use the leftover of the oil in my paper Not directly under the sun, but um, near the sunlight, okay, so that it gets the heat to proof it and uh, rise. Okay, you can see that the uh, dough is puffed up, so to deflate it, just poke it down and uh, two, three, four. Now it has deflated. And I'm going to transfer this to the board. So I flood the board a little, not too much, and just transfer this over. Okay, and then uh, just need a little to get the rest of the air out, not too much. And then um, roll it out. Make it long so that uh, you can make it, uh, you can cut it. You can weigh it and um, so that uh, you can get a better proportion, equal proportion. If not, just estimate. Doesn't matter if it is uh, slightly bigger or smaller. Okay. Okay. Each one is about 80 gram, and uh, now I'm just pushing it down. Just pull it up like this, push it, okay? Pull from the top and then push it down to the bottom, okay? And you will see that the top is very uh, smooth as you pull, pull to and push it to the bottom. Pull and push it to the bottom. Okay. And so the front, the top is smooth. And just put a little bit of flour to roll it. 
and then I'm going to put it inside the inside the uh, container baking container and uh, it's going to be um, oiled and the paper that is oil also okay just pull it down pull it down push to the bottom pull it down pull it down pull it down okay and then this is also stretching it down like that push it down okay you will see that the the top is very nice Okay, very smooth and nice. Okay, now I have all rolled out and uh, I'm going to cover it to proof it. Okay, for another 30 to about 30 minutes or when this uh, ready soft and puffed up okay as you can see the dough is already puffed up and um, now i'm going to do egg wash right one egg and i put some a pinch of salt and uh, also a drip of water to dilute this so that it's not so thick and it won't have clumpy egg white in it so just uh, brush it this will give the color to the top okay And then I'm going to snip it so that I can put the fillings. Okay, so snip, snip. Now, this is what I'm going to put inside the hole there. Uh, this is garlic fried in butter and then I put some herbs inside. Okay, so here you are. Garlic with herbs. <laughs> now the butter melted. So it will go inside the 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 bread and so your bread will be super soft. Okay, it will just spill inside. It will make the bread very soft. <clears throat> Fry the garlic chopped.
about one quarter cup of garlic and about 30 gram of butter okay so this is done then I'm going to sprinkle with Amazon cheese Amazon cheese is powdery form it, this is going to make it delicious it will be like garlic bread you know when you make garlic bread I think I did show in my previous uh, how to make garlic bread my previous video um, when you make the garlic bread for eating with this company side dish with um, spaghetti spaghetti bologna it will be so delicious this will make the the the, the top it will make the top um, golden okay because when baked this amazon will turn golden in color and I'm going to put some uh, cheese, cheddar cheese on top. It will melt and it will give a cheesy taste to the uh, bread. It's just like uh, having pizza. okay this is going to come out fabulous all right so i'm going to put it to bake three seven uh, three five oh for about 25 to 30 minutes or until uh, it is ready okay this is about 15 to 20 minutes and uh, my oven is hot so it's a bit dark on the center here but it's okay now i'm going to brush with a bit of butter on the top so to make it soft Okay, now is the best part, and that is the testing part. Okay, tasting part. You can see that this is really soft. Okay, and it, it peels off. Okay, it peels off easily. Whew, it's hot. Okay, so the the bread is super soft. Can resist it even though it's hot, but it's so so nice. Okay, enjoy. 
and um, will be will be posted in YouTube. So the recipe will be in uh, the description box. All right, and and give me a thumb up and also share with your friends if you are blessed by this recipe.